function name, Boolean function name is f. So the f is the function of three variables. So x, y, z is three variable of that function. And this is a function that we have, which is x prime, y prime, z plus x, y, z plus x prime, y, z plus x, y prime, z. Okay, so this is actually the function. So the question is using the basic theorem and postulate of the Boolean algebra, simplify the following Boolean expression. So we want to use the all these seven theorem and also the four postulate that we mentioned today and make this function more simple okay so you don't have too much time so let's do, do that so if you take a look to this what's the first things come to your mind so if you compare this one with actually which one we could actually say this one okay and compare these two. Could you actually take a factor here? The answer is yes. If from the first one I take factor as y prime z, what left here is x prime, okay? Do the same thing here. You have y prime z it should be plus x, right? So this is what you have for, you could replace with these two first and last sentence, right? If you distribute this inside, you will get exactly the same thing, right? Y prime Z X prime, which is the first one, and Y prime Z X, right? Plus, do the same thing with these two. Just this time, take actually what we need to take out here, Y Z, right? The Y Z is common between these two. So I take out Y Z, so then definitely you have X plus X prime, okay? So, Based on what did you learn here in here, what is the x plus x prime is 1. This is which, this is theory or postulate. So here, so see in number 2, in number two, number 3 in the postulate of the Boolean algebra, it says x plus x prime is 1, right? So you back here and you say, okay, x plus x prime base of number three postulate is one then i could replace one okay so then it should be equal to what y prime z plus y z it is more simple than this but you need to double check and you make sure this is the simplest form so what i could see here you could take z and then you get actually y prime y prime right so again, y prime, y prime is one. So that means this is z, okay? So why I'm doing this, you answer that question. If you want to implement this function without make that simple. So see, I want to implement this function that you see. So the first question is how many or do I need? So definitely I need actually one or here, right? So then you need, suppose you have actually three inputs and. So see here you have x prime, y prime, then you need actually z, suppose this has three input. So you make this. So then you need to make this, so which is another and, which is give you x, y, z, okay? I made this sentence. Then it comes to the or, then I made actually these two sentences together I have here. So definitely you need to implement this or with another or, so which is this is another or. Another or again should be included to the another or to make whatever you see here, right? So I put another or here to making that. So that should be included to and. So I, this is one and, this is second and, right? So this is the first one, this is actually the second one. So each of them has three inputs, one, two, three. So the first one is x prime, y, z. Definitely for making prime you need not so, but I just write x prime. So the next one should be x actually y prime z, okay? So then you actually make this, whatever you got is the f, right? So that means how many and I need, one, two, three. So how many, 
how many or one two three how many three inputs and one two three four so that means four and three or so i'm writing here and how many and you need you need four and how many or actually you need three so what i'm telling after i simplify that this is equal to this if you just have one input and put the z it's equal to f so these two circuit is doing exactly the same thing okay so that's the reason you need to simplify the boolean algebra and boolean function the reason is because if you get the more simple um, form of that it means you need less gate right and the each of them also is a wire right you did some wiring in lab and see how tough it is right you find the hole put that here connect to that another or so that means these all of these connection is the wire right so it show it 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 tells you why we are using these actually the theory and why you are we are using these postulate the reason is we try to get the simplest form of the function why because if whenever you have the simplest form it means you actually need less actually gate and less connection in another word your circuit actually will be more simple circuit okay simplify simplify the following following boolean functions or statement or expression to the minimum to minimum to minimum number of variables or the other terms it used in the book or in the boolean algebra we call that literal it means the same in the normal algebra we call variables so here is a literal which is each really literal here just could be zero and one right so okay this is the first function we have function f so it is this a prime plus b the whole thing's prime plus a prime plus b prime again another prime okay so this is your function okay so we want to simplify this function and we want to see why we need to do that first we simplify that then actually mention why we need to do that so if i don't simplify this function so as you learn in the in the beginning of this class we actually mention you could implement any function in the boolean algebra with the gates right so let I do that. Let I implement this function. What I need? I need at least one big OR here. I put the big OR here, which is this OR that you see. Okay. Then what else I need? I need actually one other OR, which is whole thing should be not. So that means I need this OR, which is its output should be not. You could use the NOR2 or you could have this. So what is the input of this? Again, you need to have one not for A, which is produce A prime, then OR with the B, then whole things prime, then connected to the OR. How about the other side? Again, you need one other OR, which is again, it's need to be not OR. You could use the NOR, both same thing. So again, you need the A prime because I don't want to make my drawing actually very busy i just i'm technically i should connect these all connected but i consider yes. this a so this is a not which is produced is a prime then again you have these b here which is you take a not 
So that means you have A prime, B prime, you add them and whole things not, which is produce the whole things, and you have these or whatever you have here is F, okay? So if I give this and say implement with the gates, you say, okay, I don't care about the simplifying the function. I don't like that. I hate it. So I just directly implement that. Okay, that's fine. So you did that, okay? So then someone else comes and say, okay, I want to use the four postulate and theorem and make this as simple as I can. So then implement that, okay? So let's see what should be happen. So back to the postulate and the theorem, which is seven. We have seven theorem of the algebra and also we have four postulate, okay? So you need to take a look to all of them and see which one you could use. So what you could use is the De Morgan, right? De Morgan says if you have x plus y and take a prime, it's equal to x prime dot y prime. Same thing, x dot or x and y prime is x prime plus y prime. So I say, okay, I have this here, let to use that. So here you have... So see, this is exactly more. Consider this x, this is y, so this is actually the De Morgan. x plus y prime, you could use the De Morgan. So I use the De Morgan. So first De Morgan should be the prime of the first one, which is a prime prime. So again, based off the postulate that you learn, what is the prime prime? If you take two, two times prime of one variable, you could get the same thing, right? So see, x prime prime equal to x. This is the theory number four, okay? So let's to do that. So let's to say, okay, so I'm using the De Morgan, which is the prime of the first one. The first one is A prime, you have A prime prime, you should have A. De Morgan says this should change to the and, and the prime of the next one, which is the B prime. Plus, do the next one again, the De Morgan. The so prime of the first one, A prime prime is A, put M again, this, or change to the and, and the b prime prime is b, okay? So you have this. Then again, you take a look to the function that you have. It's okay that to take factor of a, so you will have b prime plus b, okay? It's b, not b prime, okay? So b, b, okay? So what is the B prime plus B? Again, best, this is the whole tools that you have. B plus B prime based off the postulate theory that you have. Where is it? X plus X prime is here. Number three, X plus X prime is one, okay? So I, I use that. So I use that and replace B plus B prime with the one. So that means the F equal A. This is one. So then you have, maybe that's better to say a and one equal to a, okay? So I I simplify the function, I get a. So now I could actually implement that. So how you could implement that? This is simple. You don't need any other inputs. You just have these a just with wire. Just say okay, whatever you have a directly connect to the output. That's you will be do the same thing with this complex circuit that you see here, okay? So, which is tells us why simplifying the Boolean function is important. So it is important because make your circuit more simple, number one, and, uh, and the number of the gate that you use also decrease the number of the gates that you are going to use, okay? So for these reasons, simplifying the Boolean function is a very important topic in digital system. There is different method. The first method that you learn here, use the postulate and theorem of the, uh, theorem of the Boolean algebra. We have some other methods, which is the Quinn-McCloskey table is one of them. So the Carnot map is another. <laughs>